Hey guys, in this video we are going to be looking at a new color setting feature that has been added to CSS3. But before I do that, let's just create in our body a simple uh, div, div id equals box, and just close the div, empty div, and inside my style tag, uh, just create a box, like so, and inside I am going to set the width to 200 pixel do height 200 pixel so it's going to be a box uh, I want the pad I don't need the padding uh, I want the margin to be 30 pixels yep and I want the background color to be uh, I don't know blue and I want the border to be one pixel solid black and let's just put this blue property here so that you can see clearer. Okay, now if I save my work and refresh, we have this uh, blue background box. Now in normal CSS or up to CSS2, we can either set the color of our cut uh, color of our I don't know like backgrounds or text colors to uh, like a certain color. <coughs> sorry, by using either uh, the name of the color such as blue or by using the come on like ff0000 using these things uh, f this is for red this is for blue and this is for green so if I save this and refresh it's going to be a color red now uh, with CSS3 you can actually use a different one called an RGB an RGB stands for, if I write my comment, uh, red, green, blue. So it's similar to uh, the hex where we have the, F, the first two numbers, FF being for red, the next FF being for green, and the last one for being for blue. However, instead of, uh, the, instead of choosing the color from 0 to F, you actually choose from 0 to 255. 0 being no color and 255 being full color. So if I say 0, 255, 0, it's going to be a color green. Now, uh, the last thing is that in CSS3, we have this thing called RGBA, and A stands for alpha. So we have a new color setting called red, green, blue, alpha. Now, what is alpha at the end? Alpha, basically, you can choose uh, the, not the opacity, but you can actually choose the opacity value for the color. It's different for the opacity property. However, you can just say how uh, thick you want your color to be. So uh, let's comment, put the comment in my next uh, line and then change, choose the RGBA. Currently, my RG, uh, the color is going is red, so I'm going to change it to blue. So, if but uh, to use RGBA, you write RGBA and you write uh, a, what? Ugh, my mind's going blank. You write a bracket, and inside the brackets, you are going to be having one, two, three, four uh, numbers inside and each are going to be for R, G, B, and A. So uh, I want this to be a color blue. So I, I don't want any red, so I'm going to say zero to red. red. I, want I don't want any green, so I'm going to say zero to green, and I'm going to say 255 to my blue so that it's maximum. Now I'm going to say my R, G, B, A, A being for alpha, I want this to be a full blue. So I'm going to say one. So A is going to be in between zero and one. So if I save my work and refresh, we have this normal full blue color, which is exactly the same as just by saying blue or 0000, zero, zero, zero FF. However, if I change this opacity value from one to 0 0.5 and save and refresh, that actually uh, the blue thick, the thickness of the blue changed and it turned more lighter. Not, the color itself didn't turn lighter, but uh, if the opacity value decreased so that you can see the background more. If I change, for example, my body's uh, background color to red or something and save my work and refresh, you can see that uh, if I have my RGBA value or the A value to one, you can see that the blue is 100%, so you can't see any red 
behind it. However, if I change this to 0.5, you're going to start to see this blue turning into a purple because the blue's opacity decreases so that the red, you can actually see the red behind it. And if you add blue to red, you'll get a purple, which is why that is turning into a purple. So I'm just going to delete this and turn it back. So uh, what you see over here is the white behind the blue coming through into your eyes or the opacity value of your blue decreasing. So that's uh, with this, uh, the work of web developers going to be a whole lot easier because uh, there's a whole lot of things you can do with the opacity value changing. You can even add uh, images behind this using the background image stuff. And then uh, you can add like cool effect, putting like uh, fade blue or fade yellow overlapping using like 0.2 or something overlapping the image. So that was a quick video on the RGBA, the new uh, color setting feature for CSS3. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.